there, welcome to the eBusiness Guru Linux Apps video series. And in this video, I would like to talk to you about the eBusiness Guru 4x0 application. eBusiness Guru 4x0 is a Linux application which generates invoices from your Linux sales and then synchronizes them over to the Xero accounting software. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can set up the eBusiness Guru for Xero application and also how you can use the application. To install eBusiness Guru for Xero is fairly straightforward. Just hop over to Apps, Application Store. You can then click on No Filters and then you can click on Embedded Application and then you hit apply and then straight away you'll see eBusiness Guru for Xero on the right hand corner. Once you've installed the application you can launch the application by going to apps, my applications and then navigate over to eBusiness Guru for Xero. When starting the configuration process for Xero, there are five steps in the pop-up and they are required to make this app work. By clicking on Authenticate to Xero, the following screen will pop up where your Xero credentials will need to be inserted. Once valid X0 credentials are entered, it will display all the organizations available under this account. In my case, it's just eBusiness Guru. Once you're happy, you can allow access. And then you'll be redirected to the eBusiness Guru 4X0 application. So the second of the five steps is account mapping. The account mapping screen allows you to control which X0 accounts are connected to the source and subsource channels in Linux to control the import of transactions into X0 as sales invoices. In the account mapping screen, you can tick one entry in Linux accounts and click on the link button for an entry on the X0 account side to link with an existing account in Xero. At any time, if you want to disconnect this link, you can use the unlink button to do so. If you would like to create a new account in Xero, then you can select the create button in Linux account to do so. This screen would then pop up where you have to select the type of account which is either bank or sales. Once you've completed this, you must hit save. The tax rate mapping screen controls the tax rates you have charged customers. You can choose an application which Linux tax rate should be mapped to a given tax entry in Xero to ensure everything is correctly configured for your account. Here, you can make changes to the Linworks and Xero tax rate mappings. The Lin tax dropdown shows all the calculated tax rates Linux has imported in orders thus far. If a Linux tax rate hasn't been imported yet, you can choose and enter an amount in the specific tax field in anticipation of orders to come. You can also see tax rate options that have been made available in the Xero tax drop down here. These will be synced across from your Xero account. Once you've selected an Xero tax and a Lin tax amount to be mapped together, you can hit save and tax mapping will be successful.
if tax mapping isn't successful you would get a different dialogue box popping up saying that the tax mapping was unsuccessful mapping if you accept payment methods in Linux, such as PayPal or credit card payments then you need to ensure that this section is configured here in this screen you can map the payment methods available in your Linux account to specific account types in Xero. This enables Xero to do things such as being able to track disimbursements and so on and so forth. If you click on the Lim Payments Methods drop down, you would see the options available that you have for payment mapping. And if you click on the Xero account drop down, you'll be able to see the options you have available for payment mapping. Once you've selected your Xero account and the payment method that you want to map together, just hit save. Once the payment mapping is successful, you get a box like this saying that the payment mapping has been successful. If you want to edit this payment mapping in future, you can click to edit on the pencil. And if you want to remove the payment mapping, you can click on the bin symbol to delete it. Options for setting up and managing the synchronization process can be found by clicking synchronization. For each service, you can select the invoice type that will be used when importing into Xero. Options for setting up and managing the synchronization process can be found by clicking on synchronization. For each service, you can select the invoice type that will be used when importing it into Xero. When you have a small number of orders, you can use the individual order option and one sales invoice is created per Linux order. Source subsource summary means that all orders are combined and are broken down into combined sales order groups by the source or subsource, but also by currency and payment method and date. The running column shows whether the create invoice services is currently running. The sync button allows you to manually run the invoice service on demand and the automation field should be ticked if you want the app to create your sales invoices in Nimrex automatically overnight. Otherwise you must click on the sync button regularly. Once you've finished selecting the options that you want, you can then hit save. Once you've finished with the synchronization settings, the subscription page will be opened automatically. The subscription for the eBusiness Guru for Xero app is based on the number of orders you sync from Nimworks into Xero during the month. Should you run out of credit, you can return to this page and upgrade to the next package gaining the balance of extra credits between the old limit and the new. There is also an option to backdate your invoices in the purchase credit subscription page. You can select the month and the year you wish to the synchronization to start and then you click submit. You will receive an email with information regarding the costs and the payment option to complete before the eBusiness Guru for Xero application can process your backdated orders. Once you have finished the five step process in setting up your eBusiness Guru for Xero application, you'll be taken to the home screen. On the home screen, a range of features can be found. With the dashboard, this would redirect you back to the home screen whenever you touch this tab. It will also take you back to the five step process that you used initially to set up your eBusiness Guru for Xero application. Orders by channel will display the percentage and number of order invoices generated and exported to Xero based on their source and their subsource. Orders by currency will display the percentage and number of order invoices generated and exported to Xero based on the currency used in the orders. 
credit limit will include a subscription plan and will also display your current subscription plan. You will also be able to see the number of orders downloaded from Nimworks and the number of orders that have been exported to Xero. You can also see how many credits that you have remaining in your current month subscription. Current status will show you the number of Linux orders that you've received, the number of exported orders, and the number of invoices that failed to be exported into Xero. With the currency mapping screen, this will display a list of currencies used in Linux, and it will show you which currencies they are mapped to in Xero to ensure that they are correctly invoiced. In invoice history, this will show you all the invoices created in Xero for today. The switch at the top over here allows you to toggle between either daily invoices or backdated invoices. It also shows if any errors occurred during creation happened. Once you've exported Linux Direct orders from the eBusiness Guru for Xero application, your screen will look something like this. In the orders by channel box, I can see that I've exported two Linux Direct orders. In the orders by currency box, I can see that 22 pounds of orders have been exported into the Xero software. If I come over to credit limit, I can see that two orders have been exported and I can see that my remaining credits is 9,998. If I come a little down to the current status box, I can see that I've exported two Linux orders and that two of those orders have been exported into the Xero software. If I come further down, I can also see that the exported orders to Xero have generated two invoices in the Xero software itself. If I click on this button here, I can see that two orders have been generated. So these are the two orders that have been sent over to Xero for invoice creation. I can see the order number and I can see the total that's been charged. And if I click on this invoice number over here, I will be able to see the invoice that's been generated in Xero, including the due date, the invoice number, the date, the amount due, and I can see further information, including history and notes. So I can see that the payment's been received um, from Direct GBP on 2nd July 2017 uh, for £10, and this invoice has been fully paid. Now, if I click on Show History, it will show me further information about this invoice so I can see that the payment has been received from direct GBP and I, can, and I can also see that the order invoice has been received from the Xero eBusiness Guru application. Back in the eBusiness Guru for Xero application, I can see the Linux orders information again. And I, can, and I can also see if there's been any failed invoices, which there are none, which means that the eBusiness Guru for Xero application is working fine. And there you have it. So that's the eBusiness Guru for Xero application. And I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you for watching.